One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of Life and Style by Kevin Samuels. Again, if you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down there. And if you wouldn't mind, refer it out to a couple of your friends. The more subscribers, the better. Let's spread the love. Okay, today, notice nothing in my hands, but today we're going to be talking about another fragrance that I love, Terre de Hermes. Now, this is one of those fragrances that I personally, every time I spray it, I feel happy. Um, it comes in an eau de toilette, an eau de parfum version. Um, now, Terre de Hermes actually means earth, the Hermes, but... You, so you would think you get something a lot different than you're getting, but what you really get is a fragrance that is a nice citrus and woodsy fragrance. Let's start with some of the notes. Uh, you're going to get grapefruit, you're going to get some woodsy notes, and you're also going to get a little bit of vetiver. So what it's really going to give you is a kind of a citrusy, woodsy, fresh, spicy, a little bit earthy, kind of flinty accord. Um, now, the notes in the Eau de Parfum version versus the Eau de Toilette version are slightly different. The Eau de Toilette version is going to give you more of that, that flintiness. So you're going to get a little bit more, a lot more of the citrus and the grapefruit and the flintiness. And the Eau de Parfum, you're going to get a more toned down grapefruit, but more of the woodsy kind of fragrance. So that's what makes this fragrance so interesting to me. So, Eau de Toilette, as I've already said, meaning you has a, having more alcohol in it, means you're going to get a much larger projection. This thing projects at quite a ways, I'm, at least out to my arm. Uh, and I get at least about six to eight hours out of the Eau de Toilette version. Um, I would say it's great for daytime, evening wear. It's certainly a warm weather fragrance, I would think. You know, great for going into springtime, into summertime. Which brings us to the Eau de Parfum version. So you're going to have more of the essential oils. And with the change in the note composition, you get a fragrance that's going to be great daytime, evening, nighttime, year round. I got to be honest, as far as designer fragrances go, it's one of my top 10 favorite designer fragrances of all times um, for the simple fact of the versatility and in a citrus based fragrance, you just generally don't get this kind of performance and this kind of uniqueness. So this is a home run fragrance for me. Um, I tend to actually mix the Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum versions and wear them together. Depending on where I'm going, of course, occasion dictates everything and how I'm feeling that day. But generally, I mix them both to get the best of both worlds because I love that great grapefruit punch. But I love the longevity and the closeness and the dry down of the Eau de Parfum version. Either way, you can't really go wrong with either one of them. But if I said I had to pick one, as usual, I'm going to go in this direction with the Eau de Parfum version because the dry down on it is killer. It dries down to a nice, woodsy, citrus, vetiver kind of, and it sits closer to the skin, and you just smell rich, opulent. It's everything you could really want in a fragrance. Either way, you can't go wrong. And for the, check, and for the difference in price, if you go ahead and don't buy retail, like I say, go to fragrancenet.com, Buy them both. You can get two bottles for the same price that you would get one bottle or two 3.3 ounce bottles for the same price you get one 3.3 ounce bottle at your local major retailer. Again, love them both for different reasons, but for similar reasons. Big time hit in my opinion. Oh, that, I forgot. I almost forgot about the performance. The performance of the perfume version, eight plus hours easily. Apply it in the daytime, forget about it. Especially if you layer it on with a nice fragrance-free moisturizer. Put it on, 
where forget about it but i always keep me a little travalo little dispenser because i like to freshen up a little bit during the day uh but either way with either one of these fragrances it's going to be a killer uh, i would say it's leaned a little bit more towards the more mature side it's in the can it's in the same category i would think a gray vetiver by tom ford or blue de chanel is by or blue de chanel uh Younger guys, you know, we're talking 16 to roughly 24. This may not necessarily be the fragrance for you, not because you don't have the nose for it. It's just because it's a little bit more refined. Like I said, it's a little bit more opulent. There are better choices in that age range. But like again, like I said again, from that age of 25 to basically death, this fragrance is a knockout. Do yourself a favor. Go out and put your nose on it, try it, love it, buy it. Until next time, talk to you later.